Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 2 of League Academy. Today, I'll be covering the top 10 champions for new players. Now, keep in mind this is not a tier list. These are mechanically easy champions, so you can easily learn lanes. Of course, since this is for new players, I will be taking into account the price of the champions. I won't really be discussing 6,300 champions, although they usually are harder anyways. But with that said, let's hop right into the champions. Alright, let's kick off this list with some 80 carries, and first up is Ash. All the world on one arrow. Ash kicks off this list because she's a mechanically easy AD carry that you can get for just a price tag of 450 blue essence. I haven't made an account for a while, but I'm pretty sure that you still get an Ash champion shard whenever you do make an account, and you can upgrade it for only 90 blue essence, meaning you can get it right off the bat. Now the reason she is a fairly easy champion is because she has a permanent slow from her passive, which means kiting is a lot easier for you. For people that don't know, kiting or orb walking is the act of moving backwards while still hitting a target. This is going to be a lot easier for Ash because that target will be slowed from just those passive basic attacks. She also has some pretty decent wave clear because of her W ability which shoots out a lot of arrows. As long as the enemy champions aren't blocked by those minions, it's also great for poking those enemy champions so you can easily win that lane phase. Other than that, Ash is just basically an auto attacking champion and you have to activate your Q after 4 auto attacks to use more arrows. Sure your ultimate is a skill shot engage and your E is a scouting tool, but these aren't that necessary for a new player, you will eventually learn how to use those tools. She's not the strongest champion in the game at the moment, but she is still a very solid pick and great for a new player to learn AD carry. For the second AD carry I've put one of my personal favorites, Misfortune. Fortune doesn't favor fools. Misfortune is another pretty mechanically easy AD carry, but she comes with a higher price tag of 3,150 blue essence. One of the main reasons she's on this list though is because her auto attacks do a bunch of extra damage every time you attack a new target. Since you should be only auto attacking each target once when you are last hitting, this of course will make last hitting a lot easier. She's also got some okay mobility, so roaming and positioning properly is much easier because of her W ability. Then finally, to effectively teamfight on her, all you have to do is get into a good position and press your R button. If you can get this on multiple targets, you will do some devastating damage in a teamfight, and so teamfighting is pretty damn easy on Misfortune. She's also a champion that's pretty strong in the early and the mid game, so you set yourself up for a pretty successful lane phase. The hardest thing on Misfortune is properly bouncing your Q ability off of minions that will die so it bounces and does more damage, but that even is not that hard, which is why she's going to be in this list. Now let's move into the jungle with one of the easiest champions in all of League of Legends, Nunu. Don't make the Yeti angry. You won't like him when he's angry. So Nunu is a very easy to understand jungler and only costs 450 blue essence. This of course means you can get your hands on him right away and start learning him right as you begin learning League. Now Nunu himself is a very tanky jungler and he has an amazing jungle clear speed at least on those single jungle camps because of his consume. This is pretty much always going to keep him on a high health pool, so if people do invade your jungle and try to kill you, usually it's not going to be that simple for them. Another reason Nunu makes it onto this list is because his ganks are very easy to pull off. Just walk into the lane with your speed boosted W and then E the enemy champion to slow them and start auto attacking. You can of course start channeling your ultimate if you are level 6, but that's all there really is to Nunu. Now Nunu is definitely not the strongest champion at the moment, he is receiving some buffs really really soon though, so he is going to be a lot stronger, but he makes it onto the list because of how simple he is to play. For the other jungler on the list, I've got the armadillo, Ramus. Okay. Ramus rolls into this list because he only has a 1350 price tag and he's pretty easy to understand as well. He's also one of the tankiest champions in League of Legends, so if you do get caught in a bad position, you can activate your defensives and usually still get out. He's also got a really solid jungle clear as well because you could use your W as a defensive and also increase your damage at the same time to easily destroy jungle camps. Now Ramus also has a speed boost which comes from his power ball and a really solid taunt so his ganks are also very very strong. All you have to do is roll up onto an enemy champion, taunt them with your E ability and then use your W as a defensive. Since Ramus is a really fast champion he's also one of the best counter gankers in the game. If you see the enemy jungler run into one of your lanes and gank your teammates, you can use your Q ability to get there really quickly and then taunt them off of them and hopefully get some return kills. He's certainly not the flashiest champion in League of Legends, but his ganks are strong, his counter ganks are strong as well, and he's got a pretty decent jungle clear. Now let's kick off the mid lane with probably the easiest mid laner in all of League, Annie. You wanna play too? That'll be fun. 
Annie is a solid mid laner that only has a 450 blue essence price tag. So if you're starting off League of Legends and you're looking to get right into the mid lane, consider Annie. She's a champion that's very easy to last hit on because you can use your Q ability to single target down minions over and over again because you get mana refunded so it's very very easy to do. It'll basically do more damage than all auto attacks from champions so it's going to be very easy to last hit on Annie. You've also got some pretty solid AoE damage from your W if you need to take down multiple minions at once. Annie's also a very bursty champion and if you have a bunch of damage items you will be able to one shot some carries. Now finally, Annie's also got a pretty strong stun which comes from her passive. It's fairly easy to understand, whenever you use 4 abilities, your next one will stun the enemy champion. You'll therefore pretty much just want to last hit throughout the lane phase with your Q ability and when you have your stun, go for some damage on the enemy champion. When you're going into a team fight, try to have this available because whenever you use your W or your ultimate, you can stun multiple enemies. For the second mid laner, I've got one of the safest mid lane picks, Morgana. We'll bring them pain. Morgana is a really solid and safe mid lane pick that will only cost you 1350 blue essence. Now one of the main reasons Morgana makes it onto this list is all centered around her black shield. This is a really solid defensive ability that will block all crowd controls while it is up, as well as a bunch of magic damage. That means if the enemy jungler does come in for a gank, you can simply toss up this shield and walk out, they will not be able to crowd control you unless you take a bunch of magic damage. Now Morgana is also a really solid champion to farm on. When you get 3 points into your Tormented Soil, which is your E ability, you will be able to drop it underneath those caster minions and basically one shot them because they will take a bunch of ticks from the ability. You can use this over and over again on those minions to easily last hit them with your auto attacks thrown in. You also have a really solid amount of crowd control from both your Q ability and your ultimate. Your Q ability may be a little hard to land on a new Morgana, but when you do get it down, it will give you a bunch of crowd control and give you a lot of kill potential. Alright, now let's move on to those support champions and let's kick it off with some Soraka. Let me guide you. Soraka kicks off the support because she only costs 450 blue essence, which means you can get her right at the start of your League of Legends journey. Of course, she is on this list as well because she is one of the easiest support champions in the entire game. You do have two skill shots, which can sometimes be hard to land in both your Q and your E, but as long as you can manage to heal your AD carry with your W ability, which of course is incredibly easy, you will be a pretty successful support champion. This does cost you some of your health, however, so as long as you can land some of those Q abilities on the enemies, you will be able to keep yourself sustained at the same time. In team fights, you'll also want to be using your ultimate because you give health to all of your allies. Now, a good advanced Soraka will be keeping an eye on the entire map and saving allies from across the map, but as long as you can use it in team fights, it's pretty strong as well. Either way, though, to be at least somewhat successful in those low levels and in low elos, all you have to do is play very carefully and heal your allies. For the next support champion relatively easy for new players, I've got Sona. Sona is a really easy to play champion, however she does come at a heftier price at 3150 blue essence. That means it will take you quite a while to save up for her if you are a new player, but it's well worth it if you're looking to learn the support role. She's a champion that's fairly easy because she only has one skill shot, which comes from her ultimate and isn't that incredibly hard to land. She's pretty easy to play because all you have to do is go near the enemy and hit your Q ability to hit them, and if you want to heal your ally, be somewhat near them as well and hit your W. If you then want to give your allies near you a speed boost, hit E. All of these abilities will go to the nearest target, which makes them very, very easy for Sona to use. After using a couple of these abilities, your next auto attack is empowered, so you'll want to auto attack the enemy champion when you do have that available. So during that lane phase, all you want to do is hit your Q as much as you can to damage the enemy and your W to heal your ally. There's not much else to it than that. When you want to engage, all you have to do is use your ultimate on the enemy to stun them and get some nice damage onto the target. Alright, let's move into the last role, which is the top lane, and let's kick it off with Garen. My heart and sword, always, for Demacia. Garen is another champion with a really cheap price at 450 blue essence, and I'm pretty sure you get a Garen champion shard if you are a new player as well, which you can upgrade for only 90. That obviously means you can get him right at the start. Now, Garen, in my opinion, is definitely one of the most mechanically easy champions. You're also fairly tanky with a built-in defensor from your W, so if you get caught in a bad position, you have some nice tankiness to get you out of that situation. If you want to engage onto an enemy champion, use your Q ability for a speed boost and then silence them with the ability, and if you want to do some damage, activate your E to start spinning around and do a lot of AoE. Then finally, when you do get the champion low, you have your R as an execute. 
All of this makes him fighting and trading with champions very, very easy, and you can always use your E ability as well to last hit a lot of minions with the same time, since it does have a pretty nice radius. He's also a fairly strong meta pick as well, he has a pretty decent win rate, so there's nothing wrong with going with Garen. For the last champion in this list, I have got Malphite. Rock solid. Malphite makes it into this list because he only has a 1,350 blue essence price, and of course, he's pretty mechanically easy. He's also a very tanky top laner, and he's very forgiving. You can either use your tankiness to run away from an enemy, or of course you could use your ultimate to jump away as well, if you did need to. He's then going to be very strong in trades against AD champions, because Malphite scales off of building armor, and of course you're going to want to build that armor against AD champions, and destroy them while also taking no damage. He's also a pretty damn strong meta pick at the moment as well, especially against full AD teams, so consider playing Malphite if you are a new player. But that covers the 10 easiest champions for new players in League of Legends. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe, and check out the video description down below. I have a link to all my social medias, and I do have a Discord server as well, so that's one you should definitely check out. In part 3 of this series, I will be covering how to last hit effectively, so make sure you check out that video if that's something that interests you. But other than that, thank you guys a ton for watching, so take it easy, have a good day, and peace.